Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Basics webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, this is the webinar. It's free and open to all. We do it Monday, Tuesday, Friday, 9.30 a.m., uh, and uh, it's for half an hour. It's an intro to Bookmap and uh, go through some of the uh, free resources for you. So we'll answer your questions here, basic questions about Bookmap. Uh, and then we're going to look at the live market and go through the basics on the Bookmap chart so that you understand what you're looking at and we'll then we'll begin reading it uh, and then giving some insight to where we think price is going to move next. Uh, it's forward-looking education. That's the type of education we offer. I'll talk more about the education uh, when you um, uh, that you get when you subscribe uh, to Bookmap, but uh, give me a few minutes as we go through some of the resources here. Uh, all right, so let's uh, jump in here and go through some disclosures. Uh, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so let's jump in here and look at bookmap.com. Uh, and for those of you who are new in here, uh, we'll just go through some of these things rather briefly here. We'll start with what is Bookmap? Okay, we're a, a standalone trading platform. Uh, so you might be using like Thinkorswim or TradeStation. Uh, Bookmap is no different. Uh, the um, distinction between us and them is the way we visualize the market data. Uh, the um, it's all the all the data. Uh, it's the entire order book, not just for the current market, uh, but for the historical market as well. Okay, if you use the dome or your level two, for example, uh, you only have it for the current market. Okay, Bookmap records all of that and plots it on the chart, so it's available for the historical market. Therefore, scalpers as well as swing traders can now use this information to their advantage. Okay, so uh, we can take a, a quick look here uh, at, uh, well, this is the NASDAQ here. We can look at the S&P uh, and uh, start to understand where there's areas of high liquidity. Okay, now we had some, some volatility here this morning uh, due to non-farm. Okay, we'll, we'll cover this here. Uh, it's just rather fascinating to really understand um, uh, liquidity and you can see them pulling in here. Okay, but that high liquidity has been in here since uh, yesterday. It's been in here. I don't know how long exactly, but it's been in here a long time. They're still up here, okay? They're still waiting, all right? So we just went down below the swing here. Uh, we'll see if buyers come in now, okay? And trap all of these sellers going short here, all right? It's a lot of selling, okay? But uh, there's a lot of volatility here, and these guys never got filled, all right? So I'm looking to see if we can get buyers back up above this uh, figure here, 4,200, okay? get more buyers here this will all be trapped selling uh, and then looking for these guys to get filled up here at uh, 4220 uh, anyway this is just one scenario and we're talking about high time frame liquidity okay and uh, looking at uh, uh, several hours of, of data here uh, and we're looking for this possible scenario to unfold and if that is the case and we start to see these buyers come in yeah we would be uh, you know looking to get long or at least, uh, yeah, we'll go through, uh, we go through in the, in the advanced webinars, um, you know, uh, where you might consider getting in, involved here, but I'll, I'll talk more about the education in a minute. Uh, but that's the scenario, uh, possible scenario here of looking for it to go up in the higher areas here, and looking for buyers to come in right now, okay? Uh, if that does not unfold and we see sellers back down below the figure of 4,200 right here, then we're looking for these other areas uh, at 92, 90, uh, 85, uh, et cetera, okay? So as you can see, this is already going in the direction we were uh, our, our primary scenario here and looking for follow through. All right, looking looking for more uh, more buyers to join in here. Uh, this is a beautiful short squeeze, uh, and um, uh, anyone that uh, uh, likely got stopped out. And we'll, we'll talk about MBO data here in a minute as well. Another confluence, okay, to add into this picture here. We can see a tremendous amount of stops already to the upside here. 
I'm getting way ahead of myself. We're already analyzing the current market. Uh, just uh, this is what we do in our forward-looking education. All right. Um, the uh, uh, playing out very nicely here. Uh, anyway, let's go back to the presentation. We'll come back here and we'll see if we got up to this 42.20 already. It's a nice short squeeze. Uh, just I just wanted to show you the um, order book and uh, understanding the conditions in the auction. And this is the edge you're going to get using Bookmap. Let's continue on. We'll go over uh, connectivity here. So Bookmap, as we just uh, defined, it is a standalone trading platform. Okay. However, we're not a data provider, nor are we a broker. Okay. You will need to provide those services in order to connect Bookmap to the live market. All right. The um, uh, for futures markets, uh, this, these are all the data providers we connect to. Okay, we give the nod to Rhythmic and DX Feed. They offer full depth of market, and uh, we like uh, Rhythmic data because it offers market by order data. I'll, I'll talk more about that in a minute. Okay, now stocks. Let's go over that. Uh, we connect to stocks, but what you're going to need is first a subscription to Bookmap Global or Global Plus. Then you'll need a subscription to DX Feed data. Okay, and that's how it works. Once you have DX feed data, you can see TradeStation and interact, Interactive Brokers are listed here, but you're not connecting to them for data at all. Okay, quite the opposite, you are sending them data. Okay, so um, we can connect to them, but not for data. Okay, you, you can connect to them to route your trading activity from DX feed data in Bookmap to your, your funded TradeStation and Interactive Brokers account. Okay, we also connect to, with Quote Media here, to London and Canadian exchanges and with Cedro to the Brazilian stock exchange. All right, so that's stocks. Cryptocurrencies, all right, if you're a crypto trader, there's 21 different uh, exchanges that we connect to here and more, uh, you know, or always adding more along the way. All right, so if you have any questions about connecting to uh, these data providers, uh, please uh, go to this connectivity guide right down here. Uh, I'll show you another link for it as well. Uh, this will open up the connectivity guide on our knowledge base. Okay, our knowledge base is like our user guide online. Uh, and this is the connectivity section. This will answer your questions. Please read through here uh, before reaching out to us at support or calling us because you're gonna get the same answer. All right, and this is gonna be much quicker. Uh, you can see DX feed right here. You can read about it. Uh, and uh, it's not very long, uh, and then uh, connectivity for futures, and then Rhythmic here, 14-day trial. From, we also get it from our marketplace here. I'll talk more about it in just a minute. All right, that's the uh, connectivity guide. Let's continue on now. Let's go over the pricing and packages for Bookmap, and note immediately here, data is not included. Okay, This is only for the software, Okay, only for Bookmap, the platform. Okay, you can subscribe yearly, uh, you'll get a 20% discount. Uh, you can also purchase for lifetime. When you click here, you'll see the prices listed below. If you click on monthly, you'll see the prices. Let's go through the monthly options here in the different versions of Bookmap. All right, there's digital, global, and global plus. And you can see this digital version is free. That's because we don't offer a, um, a free trial of Bookmap. Okay, instead we offer this digital free version. You always have access to it. It connects to one digital currency like Bitcoin for free. You always have access to that uh, and um, uh, you can be up and running within minutes. Okay, and that data is free as well. All right, and it works over the weekend. Okay, it's always open uh, crypto markets. There's a delayed feed for stocks and for futures. So this free version will give you a very good overview of what Bookmap is all about. If you want live data, then you'll need to subscribe to either Global or Global Plus for a month and give it a try. You can cancel at any time. The prices you can see are very reasonable. Give it a try for a month. Uh, now the difference here in prices between Global and Global Plus, it's about the add-on indicator package you get with Global Plus. Okay, nothing about data here. These prices do not include data. All right, so what you're getting with Global Plus uh, is this uh, add-on indicator package. And let me list the indicators you get so there's no confusion. Uh, we have an, another package uh, for market by order data and stocks 
uh, I mean stops and icebergs, etc. That is not included in this pr uh, price here or this package. So what you're getting with the Global Plus add-on package is one is the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart. Uh, we have a large lot tracker indicator. It identifies larger players in the order book. We have um, a um, uh, imbalance indicator for the book and for volume. Uh, we have a new absorption indicator. Okay? And we also have a uh, strength indicator. And that's what you get with Global Plus. All right. You also get education with Global and Global Plus. Let's scroll down a little bit more and we'll go over our education uh, section here. We're going to click on go to education. Uh, and uh, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and go through some details here. All right. So, uh, global subscribers here and global plus you both get access to our four-part educational course that's online okay moreover global plus subscribers they'll get access to the advanced uh daily trading webinars okay so i'm going to put the link in here for friday it is free okay so there it is click on that it's in the chat in book um uh in uh, this go to webinar uh, chat box uh, you can uh, register now it We'll, we'll start the webinar in about 17 uh, minutes or so, okay? So you can get a taste of what our advanced uh, webinar is like, all right? The, um, uh, it's daily, it's at 10 a.m., and we go for about an hour, okay? It's, it's a really great way to confirm uh, in the live market uh, and, and review and confirm the, the um, uh, educational course. It's the same content, but in that live market. It is not hindsight education. It is all forward looking, okay? Just like we were looking at the market here, down here, looking for buyers to come in, okay? We've already come back up into these highs up here. Still looking for it to go higher, all right? We'll see. Uh, it might go sideways here for a bit, but uh, to me, it looks like uh, buyers are, are still in here, and these guys have been waiting to get filled up here for quite a while. All right, so still looking for this to go higher. Uh, anyway, as you can see, that's already good for nine S&P points. Uh, and uh, this is the forward-looking analysis I was just mentioning. All right. Um, all right. So the um, there's also live trading. We have Scott Pulsini, a futures trader. Okay. He's on Thursdays. Goes for about an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, a J trader. He's a stocks trader. Uh, and uh, he, he's on Wednesday. And... This is all part of that bookmap Global Plus education, right? When you subscribe to Global Plus. Now that'll be live trading. They'll be taking live positions here, uh, but uh, it is in demo. Uh, it's so you can apply and learn from the education. It's not so you can shadow the trader, all right? Uh, anyway, uh, you can read about more detail in here. Uh, let's continue on. Uh, we'll scroll back up to the top and go over a few more resources, and then we'll look at this live market. Uh, on the More button here, there's quite a bit of information in here. It's all free. There's a bookmap knowledge base that, that uh, can answer a lot of questions for you, a glossary, uh, pro trader webinar recordings. There's a blog. Um, uh, under Community here, we have a chat room and Discord. We have a forum. Uh, under Product, you can see that connectivity guide here again. Under solutions, we have an API, okay? Want to cover that. You can create your own add-on indicators and automated trading strategies within Bookmap. It is Java and JavaScript based, okay? Moreover, you can sell them on the Bookmap marketplace, okay, over here, or you can purchase others, uh, add-on indicators that they've created. So let's go to the marketplace. Now, this is not bookmap.com. This is a structure for uh, other vendors to uh, hawk their uh, 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 their wares here, like uh, their their indicators, uh, their data, uh, their education, uh, their um, uh, levels here, like Spot Gamma uh, for options levels, like education from Scott Pulsini, uh, Keltner channels. We don't offer them, but Zoli does. You can get them right here for five dollars a month. Okay, uh, rhythmic data, like I said, is here. Now we also uh, our client in the bookmap marketplace. We created this MBO bundle, market by order bundle, okay? Uh, we can identify stops and iceberg transactions uh, within CME uh, data or, um, yeah, CME group 
uh, instruments. Okay, so it's only for futures. Okay, this works with global or global plus. That does not matter. Okay, it's sold separately. It's not a part of the subscription of global and global plus. So what you need is first to subscribe to Bookmap, then you subscribe to this indicator bundle for 134 a month. Uh, it only works with rhythmic data, but you can get it right here. Okay, if your broker doesn't offer it, you can get it here. All right, so that's what's required for it. Uh, and then you can identify stops in icebergs, all right? Uh, we'll, uh, we'll show that in the advanced webinar. Uh, maybe I can show it here briefly for you as well. Uh, let's go through a few more things. Social media, okay, we have uh, a lot of videos on our YouTube channel. So scroll down here, uh, features and components playlist, uh, education videos, uh, ProTrader webinar recordings, selected webinars, uh, and connecting to different data providers here. So a lot of stuff on here, a lot of great content, all right? So take a look at that. Uh, our Twitter feed, I need to update this, but uh, lots of great stuff in here as well. Uh, you can uh, follow or see other traders' activity as well as some of our own. Uh, it's uh, great stuff, so uh, take a look and see how other traders are uh, using order flow to their uh, advantage. All right, guys, so we continue to go on up. Let's take a look at this live market. Uh, looking for 42.20 still, all right? So this has now been a 15-point gain, all right? Uh, now, there's a, a, some interesting stuff actually happening up here. Um, we can see iceberg transactions here and stops, of course. Uh, and this is the context here. This is what I was talking about with the MBO bundle. Okay. Uh, these are native CME iceberg transactions and they continue to transact. Look at that, right up into it, all right? Uh, more icebergs. What does this mean? It means that there's larger players up here selling in front of 4220. Look at 4220. They're even adding more in here. See how it's red up here, okay? So let's zoom in here and I wanna go through the details of what you're looking at. Now, I wanna close the uh, uh, stops and iceberg uh, indicator here. Um, all right, yep, looking, still looking for it, looking great, right? Looking for this 42.20, uh, and um, it's another five points. Uh, and um, uh, yep, and let's see if we can get through it a little bit as well. Love to see that and love to see some more stops triggered uh, along the way. So maybe 22 to 25 as well. Um, we'll see, we'll see. But this has been the big number here, this 42.20, okay? I wanna see these guys get filled here. All right. Um, all right. So what am I talking about? Like, I mean, what is this chart showing us here? Uh, I keep talking about this level here in this red area here at 4220. Okay. What is it? Well, it, it's liquidity. It's all derived from the order book. Okay. Uh, this vertical white line right here uh, is a separator between the historical market, what has unfolded and the current market. So let's go through and zoom in here and, and go through the current market. All right, uh, this is our current best bid and offer. This is our last traded volume, this little number here. Uh, this is our price ladder. Now, this COB column stands for current order book. The numbers that you see here, it's liquidity, okay? These are limit sell orders above the market here. That's all it is. They're limit buy orders down below, okay? So you can see 885 contracts are up here at 4220, all right? That's, that's all it is. All right, it's just the auction here. This is where they're bidding and offering uh, for this instrument. Okay, so um, now what we do, uh, you can see, see how rapidly these numbers are changing in here, a lot, okay? Uh, well, it, when you're reading your, your dome or your level two, uh, this is very difficult to read, okay? It, it changes so quickly. Uh, and um, once it changes, there's no, um, record of what was there before. So what we do in Bookmap is we take the numerical values and transform it in this live window here into a heat map. Okay, the scale of the heat maps up here, red, orange is very high liquidity, then yellow, white, blue, and then black, All right? So uh, you can see here that, see how they just pulled some liquidity and went from this yellow color to uh, blue? Okay, they, they pulled the liquidity. They don't wanna be buy or sellers up here any longer. Okay, or less uh, sellers, let's put it that way. Okay, so you, you can start to understand the, the uh, auction here over time. See how they just added back in now? 
Okay, so we can answer a question about, do they really want to trade up here? And the answer is no, because price goes away and then they pull their liquidity. See how the same thing happened here, okay? Price comes up toward them, they, they pull it, okay? They add it in when it goes away. Uh, so uh, they're, not, they're pretty fickle. They don't really want to be sellers up here, all right? That's, uh, that's what we're gaining here uh, from their activity. See how it's all recorded though and plotted on the chart. This is the edge you're going to get because now you can zoom out and you on this smaller time frame, you can see this little area here was what we were just talking about, okay, up here at 18, uh, and uh, the adding and pulling here, and that's all this is. Okay. Now, moreover, look what you can start to gain and understand from here. They actually pulled from this little area here at 18, and they added it down below here on the bid. So, uh, likely the same players. We don't quite know that, but it's very curious to see how they pulled here and then it added it down here. Pulled again, or added here and then pulled from here. All right. So, uh, uh, likely a larger player, okay? And uh, likely trying to get price to come back up into this 4220. Okay, you can see there's a little bit of volatility at the moment and some kind of shenanigans going before we get up into this 4220. All right. Anyway, um, so that's all this heat map is. It looks like it's really advanced and complex. It's not. It's really simple and straightforward. It's just it's just liquidity, okay, and understanding where they are and their activity in the order book. Now that is only one element here that we've covered so far. All right, just one element, uh, the heat map. Okay, let's go over the other two elements on this book map chart, and I'm going to actually. Uh, uh, deselect the heat map here and okay, we're not going to get access to that any longer we have no more insight any longer to it okay we don't know uh, uh, the condition historically of where what they're where they're bidding and offering now we're only looking at two very simple elements transactions okay market buy and sell orders okay green dots are market buy orders red dots are market sell orders that's it okay and that's all it is uh, and then uh, we're looking at best bid and offer. In fact, I'm going to take the volume dots off. Now we're looking at just one very simple element on the bookmap chart. This is streaming best bid and offer, and that's all it is. Okay? There's no time frame here. Uh, instead, what we're looking at uh, is um, a streaming price. It's all of the price action. Okay. Uh, there's no aggregation of it, and this is what I mean by aggregation. If I look at, this is a one-minute chart, okay? Let's just zoom in here. Uh, this is a one-minute candlestick chart, okay? Every minute, I'm only getting four data points here, open, high, low, and close, okay? What happened within that minute, or it could be five minutes, or it could be a volume period of 500 or 5,000, or it could be a range bar period, even a point and figure conditional period, it does not matter. This is bar data or uh, some other type of data. It's showing an aggregation within that condition or period, okay? And it does not allow for transparency, okay? Instead, you're trying to read the candlestick wicks and bodies here to give you insight to where price might go. Okay, that's pretty wonky at best. Uh, so uh, uh, instead, looking at all the price action, Okay, understanding that's, that, um, uh, for example, let's take a look here. Um, yeah, what's a good example? Uh, yeah, well, uh, see the speed of this move and the, and the move right back down? Okay, you, you don't see that in the candlestick, right? In fact, where did it go? It went into this little consolidation period here, uh, and then it held, and then it, it came back up, and then it traded back up into here, tested this high, accepted higher, it came back down, retested this little consolidation period. These little areas matter, okay? It's the same stuff on higher time frames as well. And we traded into that, we did not go below it. We come back up here, we're gonna find some buyers in here when we turn on the volume dots and we broke out, okay? I'm looking again for a breakout up here. Okay, let's see if we get buyers again up at this area. And then I would be looking for it to stream right up to test this previous high around 18. And we know 
that that's where that guy was was pulling and adding liquidity up there. Okay, and that's right in front of 4220. So let's see if these buyers come in. Okay, now how are we going to see that? Well, we're going to turn on the volume dots and we're going to turn off the candlesticks. Okay, all right, we've got some buyers up here. Now that's not quite enough. Okay, we want to see more than that, right? It, we see a lot of sellers down here too. Okay, so it looks like it's just going to be kind of back and forth here at the moment. Just by understanding the volume within the order flow, okay, or the, the volume within the price structure. See other sellers more down here? Actually, we're looking for this to maybe break and go a little bit lower here, okay? This is just based on understanding the context of these two elements uh, in bookmap, all right? So price structure, this is what I mean, okay? Consolidation, all right? Uh, it's actually a little bit longer or bigger, but uh, I would go with maybe kind of a, 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 a consolidation period here and then a kind of a break of it, okay? Now, see how we just rejected here? we're starting to find some buyers okay I was actually looking for sellers here to pull this down okay we might we still might get them here okay but uh, instead we found some buyers here on the other side right and we did not find too many sellers now we're starting to find a few okay so uh, let, let's see let's see here if we get enough sellers here yeah we exhaust it out here so look, looking for these sellers to drop it here yeah there they go okay now this uh, this is a little a little tricky here, okay? Because uh, this might reject this little breakdown here, and if we get buyers, but this is what we'd be looking for: is buyers back up here around 14 and a quarter. If we get them, okay, these sellers got it wrong. We'd be looking for not only to the other side of this range, probably back to 18, and then finally maybe to 22, uh, 42, 20. Okay. So anyway, kind of a a, a yeah, not not too much clarity here at the moment uh, at at this little level here. All right. Now we're just looking at two elements, though. Okay. There's a big piece of the puzzle that we're missing. Where are they bidding and offering? And that's where the heat map comes in. Okay. We really want to understand that. That gives us a lot of insight to what's going on. So look at them pulling on the bid here and adding on the offer. Okay. Now they're actually starting to add on the on the bid. See them adding here? Okay, let's bet you these guys are gonna pull. I bet you we're gonna get our uh, buyers up in here and stream right up into 15, okay, and then 16, uh, and then maybe we can get this move, this bigger move into 18 and 20, okay? So looking for buyers up here, okay? We've already gotten up to about this 14 and a quarter, so one, one tick away, okay? And look what's happening now, all right, so, we got, we got some volatility in here. We got a larger player just coming in and straddling this market, okay? So this is gonna affect the, um, uh, the, the auction here, no question about that, okay? So, uh, all right, let's just take a look at this new information. All right, we're getting our buyers here on the bid. All right, looking for them to pull push higher here, okay? Back up into 16, okay? And then maybe we can get back up into our 18, okay? Looking for it. Okay, see how we read this false breakdown here? There's our move into 16, still looking for it. Let's see if we can get up into 18, right? Anyway, guys, we gotta get going here. I gave you the link to the advanced webinar. Um, it's in the chat there. I uh, hope to see you there. It's free and open to all. Uh, and then uh, we'll continue this discussion there, okay? Thanks for coming.